This is the second video on chronic hepatitis B and will discuss stages of infection. There are four stages or phases in chronic hepatitis B. The first stage is called phase 1, which is the immune tolerant phase, which I'll describe in a bit more of detail later. The next phase is phase 2. This is called the immune active phase. The next phase is phase 3, which is called the immune control phase and finally we have phase 4 which is the immune escape mutant phase. Let's now discuss about the four phases and why it is relevant in the management of the patient. The phases will help the doctor decide when to start the patient on medication. Let's now look at the first phase which is called the immune tolerant phase. This is how the hepatitis B virus looks like in the immune tolerant phase. The blood test will show that the HBS AG is positive and the HBE AG is also positive. This happens after the patient first gets infected and it can last from anywhere between 10 to 30 years or longer. Phase 1 is called the immune tolerant phase because Although the virus is in the liver, the body's immune system somehow doesn't recognize that the virus is an enemy and so does not kill the virus. We can look at it as if the virus is living in harmony within the liver. In phase 1, the genetic material of the virus, namely the DNA, is protected by the body's E and S proteins. Although the virus is multiplying, it does not cause any liver damage. In this phase, the HBV DNA levels are very high. However, the blood ALT level is normal, indicating little or no liver damage. The next phase of phase 2 is the immune active phase. It is now that the body's immune system finally recognizes that the virus is an enemy and starts to attack the virus. In the process of attacking the virus, collateral damage is done to the liver. The ALT levels are high, indicating liver cell damage. This phase can last for a few months to a few years. It is at this stage of the disease where maximum liver cell damage is taking place. In most cases, the body's immune system, which produces the antibody, called the anti-HBE, would have successfully destroyed the E protein and without the E protein, the virus is incomplete and cannot multiply and neither can it survive outside the liver cell. This is when phase 3 begins. Phase 3 is called the immune control phase. Either there is no virus or there may be a few mutant virus with the M protein instead of the E protein that is circulating. The mutant viruses are usually not as aggressive as the original virus. In phase 3, the blood tests would show that the HBS antigen is positive, the HBE antigen is negative and the antibody to the HBE called the anti-HBE is positive. HBV DNA is either not detected or very low. The ALT level is normal, indicating that there is no liver damage. So this is phase 3. Phase 4 is called the immune escape mutant phase or reactivation phase, where the virus becomes active again and starts to multiply. This is a mutant virus 
and is a different strain of the original virus seen in phase 1 and 2. The E protein is absent and it is now replaced by the M protein. The S protein is still there. So this is how the virus looks in phase 4. In phase 4, the blood test will show that the HPS antigen is positive, the HBE antigen is negative, the HBV DNA levels are high, the liver enzyme ALT is high, indicating liver damage. Here, the body's immune system again begins to attack the virus, causing collateral liver damage. This is indicated by the high ALT levels. There are many kinds of mutant virus, but they are usually less virulent compared to the original virus. The activity of the mutant virus can fluctuate from time to time. Sometimes it's active, sometimes not. Finally, the virus enters the last stage when it disappears from the blood. In this stage, only a few viral DNA genetic material may be left in the liver cells. In the last stage, the HPS antigen is negative and antibodies called anti-HPS, that is antibodies to the HPS antigen, are detected. HBV DNA not detected and the liver enzyme ALT is normal. As you can see, a few viral DNA particles are left in the liver cells. The virus has stopped multiplying and the patient is no more a hepatitis B carrier. Only about 1-2% to of patients per year clear the virus and enter this phase. It usually appears late in life. Even in this phase, the virus in the liver can sometimes become active. This can occur in patients who are taking drugs that suppress the immune system like steroids or anti-cancer drugs. This table shows you the different phases of chronic hepatitis B and the blood test for hepatitis B.